Hey YouTube, it's Wes. So unless you've been hiding under a virtual rock, you know all about Microsoft, Copilot, and their insane push to awesome AI innovation. In fact, at my company, Empath, we've been covering that, including courses, training material, all of these amazing things. But could there be a dark? sinister, scary, and even huge security concern behind it? Well, first of all, let's uncover what we're talking about here. If you haven't seen Copilot and you haven't seen what's happened with Rewind, they're doing some amazing things. Recording everything you're doing on your screen, letting you come back in time and see moments that happened. Maybe some of the most important things that you did in the day, recalling certain conversations or tasks that you had. You're like, what did I do at the end of the day? We've all had those things happen, right? And from a technology perspective, that's powerful. That's one of the most effective things that we can do is have somebody guiding us to help us see the things that we need most in a packed, jammed, busy day where we end it and we say, what happened? What are my priorities? What have I forgotten to tuck up and add to my list to make sure I get my to-dos done? So I wanna show you this, but before I do, I also want you to understand there's some pretty scary things happening behind the scenes and some security researchers are doing some powerful things to expose it. You need to know about this. If you're a security person like me, you need to warn your organizations of this. You need to build this knowledge into your company so that you don't just rush off to the latest, greatest AI, whatever, and introduce all kinds of vulnerabilities that may really come back to bite you. So let's take a look. Right here is the introduction. I'll put a link to this from Microsoft's blog, introducing Copilot in PC. Now, no doubt, this is part of Microsoft's plans to introduce and sell AI related capabilities inside of their operating system. So it makes total sense that they would do this. And hey, you know, the reality is if you're going to offer for me a device that is AI enabled, that can make me do more, sure, I'll be more willing to buy your hardware that comes from it as well. So that, that makes a lot of sense, right? And they talk about all of the, the things that it can do, you know, with an AI enabled chipset. So you can go and see this. And, and I want to show you just this part of the video kind of right about here. It's just about to show. And when they, t they talk about all the new things that this NPU chip can do, driven for AI capabilities. But watch this right here. I mean, this looks powerful. You can stretch back through the day. It reminds me of the old Apple files thing. Where you can kind of go back and forth in the file. But now you can kind of see, you know, what happened with, you know, that, that thing that happened in the past. Go back in time to look at things. AI can go and search and look through all your videos, all of your capabilities, and create images on the fly. All of these amazing things, right? analyzing the data, which is pretty powerful, summarizing documents. Like I'm telling you, I love this. I want some of this stuff too. But one of the things that comes with this capability is recall. And this recall is, is really, really interesting. It's also pretty scary. Look how we're going back in time and it's actually looking across. Oh, that was quick. Well, whatever. It, it goes back in time and it looks across your machine and it looks at screenshots. It can look at activities that have been happening and recall all of that instantly. Now, I know what you're thinking. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly be dangerous about that? Well, this right here. Take a look at this. Came over from SE Media. There are other sources covering this as well. Potential malware compromise of data from Microsoft's recall feature detailed. Yikes. So this retail feature is awesome. AI powered. It has to be in a co-pilot with a PC with that MPU that they mentioned. But this idea of, hey, could bad guys go and exfiltrate the data? I want to show you this. Kevin Beaumont was one of the first to kind of come on the scenes on this, but also this researcher right here, Alex Hagenaw, I'm probably butchering the, the pronunciation, but released this really awesome project right here on GitHub called Total Recall. I want you to see it. I'll put a link in the description down below as well. He calls it Total Recall, a privacy nightmare. We know why he's calling it Total Recall if you've seen the old 80s movie. Um, but what it does, this very simple tool, look at this, extracts and displays data from the recall feature in Windows 11, providing an easy way to access information about your PC's activity snapshots. Now that's interesting because part of what Microsoft said was this is all encrypted. This is unavailable to anybody. That A bad guy, they say, literally cannot get this without stealing your computer physically. And so that led researchers to say, cool, when you're going to make blanket statements like that, we're going to test the theory. And what we're going to find out here is that it is not exactly as Microsoft says. There's some pretty sketchy things happening that as a security person talking to you who may or may not be a security person, you need to know about all of this. It's some pretty significant stuff. So first of all, they've got a link to what this whole thing is about. Certain Windows PCs, this is from uh, Satya himself, will have a photographic memory feature called Total Recall that will remember and understand everything you do, 
right? Wonderful. So the requirements to have this talks about all the things it can do, requires machines like these. You can go and look at this. It looks like some people though have actually been able to use this amperage kit right here that sort of virtualizes or emulates an, an ARM chip to uh, enable you to be able to do this. And so that's what the researcher did. They did it, they spun it up in Azure and they used this kit and they were able to sort of synthesize an ARM chip to let them kind of enable these features in Windows. And so they talk about all the technical details. Everything is stored here, but do you see what they say? Look at this, an unencrypted SQLite database. Whoa, super sketchy, right? Encrypted? Um, no, not unless it's like full disk encryption that's running at the hardware level. We see the images stored are here. If you want to go look at them, there's the database. And so what he does is he uses DB browser and he actually goes and looks at this and he has a screenshot right here. You see what we see. Tons of information that's all here that we can go and extract. And so that's led to him creating not only this, the coolest little image. This is of course from the original Total Recall movie. It's a screen cap or whatever from the poster that <laughs> they slapped the 1990 out or whatever and put in 2024. So here you are, we have now Total Recall 2024. What does the tool do? It extracts and copies the databases and all the screenshots of everything that were happening. And it's pretty interesting what we discover when we do this. So it shows you how it works. You can run this on your own. Here's how it works. It does all the, re uh, it extracts everything out of the database and the image store. It parses through the database to help you find things according to date ranges, timestamps, what you're looking for specifically. It's got screenshot management so you can pull your images out. Oh my goodness, of course it's got screenshot capability, leveraging the OCR capabilities of recall. So now you can go find things, type in things like passwords, you know, that whatever it is that you're looking for personal data. Output generation summarizes a summary of the enact and extracted data of all the things that are there. Text search, date filtering, comprehensive reports. Look, it's all there. So if you're thinking what I'm thinking, this is a security nightmare. This is pretty sketchy. A bad guy could get access to all of this and it basically see everything you've done on a machine. Absolutely fascinating and scary. So take a peek at this right here as well. I want you to see the FAQ. This comes from Kevin Beaumont. This came from his article right here. I will link it in the description because I want you to go and, and follow Kevin. What he does is amazing. Um, and I follow him on LinkedIn, awesome security researcher. The data is processed locally. Well, yeah, it is local, right? And then, yeah, so hackers can't access it, right? No, 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 they can. But it's encrypted, right? Well, no, it's not really encrypted. When you're logged into a PC and run software, everything is decrypted so that you can run it, right? So it might be encrypted when it's at rest, but when it's being used and the user is logged in, it's absolutely open and encrypted. But the BBC said that data can't be accessed remotely by hackers. They were quoting Microsoft, but this data is wrong. The data can be accessed remotely. Absolutely, it can. There's a quote from the actual researcher, I'm sorry, the, the uh, journalist that came back and said, well, that's what Microsoft told me. I just trusted them and took their word for it. Probably not the smartest move. But then again, he's a journalist, not a technician. Microsoft says that they can only the user can access the data. No, it's not true. Total Recall has proven that another account running can access the database. I don't know if it requires like like local admin privileges to that machine, but regardless, we all know it's pretty easy to grab that. Every few seconds, screenshots are taken. Everything's OCR'd. So, so we, it, I mean, it's literally recording everything you're doing. I mean, who wants this, right? So there you go. We can kind of see all the information about this. This is pretty scary. Where's the security here? They've tried to do a bunch of things, but none of it actually works properly, properly in the real world due to gaps you can fly a plane through. <laughs> Does it automatically not screenshot things like financial information? No, <laughs> no, pretty scary. No, look at this. Recall does not perform content moderation. So if you're going to enable this for your enterprise, you need to know what you're getting into. This could be gross negligence, really crazy stuff. How large is the database? It does compression, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to skip by the rest of this, right? Except as we get down here, there's no auto deleting. What if I delete an email? No, it stays in there permanently. So imagine having a permanent record and you're like, oh, I need to delete this email for privacy concerns or this WhatsApp or Teams message that occurred on my machine as I was typing something super critical and confidential. It's stored. It's there. Threat actors are going to be able to grab it. They can potentially scrape this. Hear me. There's a day coming where this, if it's enabled, malware is going to look for this stuff and it is absolutely going to grab all of this. In this age where bad guys are not just stealing data and ransoming data, but they're holding the data hostage and will leak it if you don't pay, the day is coming that bad guys will leverage this. So from a security point of view, if you run security at your org 
or your organization itself is responsible for driving AI, you need to share this. You need to be aware of this. If you're not the decision maker, share this video in your org with those that are. I can tell you as a security leader, this is something you have to be aware of. This is something that does not need to be enabled for your organization. This is something that needs to be taken action on. So here's the rest of the information. How do you disable it? An initial device setup is out of the box. You have to click through it to disable it. So you really do want to make sure that it is actually disabled. This tool will do it, but you can do it through other ways as well. So there you have it, my friends. I just wanted to show this to you. Pretty crazy, pretty awesome. It, I mean, it's super cool. Maybe for home use might be fine. But understand the ramifications of privacy violations. Understand the risk that can come with it. All right, my friends, I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Every YouTuber asks for it, but it really is how we thrive and grow. I appreciate you all so very much. Thanks.